Hello peeps, Struggle here. Welcome back to the third part of my How to Play Starmate series. Today we will be talking about the advanced build mode. First you need to understand how all this building works. Now the arrow points to the front of the ship. To utilize the advanced build mode you need to understand that X means left and right, Epsilon means up and down, and set means back and forth. Okay? So, the first thing you might be stumble upon are symmetry planes. For example, the epsilon set plane will copy stuff from left to right. Not really obvious because there is no left right thing standing there, but uh, that's what it does. Okay? Now, the X epsilon plane, let's put it that way, will copy stuff from back to forth, okay? So basically it's always that the one letter that is missing that will be copied. Okay, we don't need these anymore. Now let's just make it like so. The next thing, and yeah, let's do the odd symmetry mode first. Um, I suggest building an odd symmetry mode just because it makes the more appealing shapes. Um, odd symmetry mode basically means that if you have a symmetry mode set and you switch to, then you switch, turn it off, the plane will be between blocks, right? Now with the odd symmetry mode on, the plane will be on a block. And because often you have just one block of one type, for example this core, the odd mode makes more sense also for rounded shapes and organic shapes. You don't build these on even numbers. So yeah, well, it's just a rule of thumb, of course. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can do what you wish, but make sure that you stick to one mode for your build because you can't mix them. You can't add another symmetry on a different mode. Then both will flip, okay? So, yeah, I suggest staying in odd symmetry mode just because it works. <laughs> All right, next thing would be that thing up here. You. You can change these maximum values in your settings file. Uh, normally, per default, it's 10. But don't go overboard with it because um, copying too much can really slow down and even crash your game. So what are these things doing here? Basically, right now you see we have this box, which is one by one by one big. Now let's... Um, Make that bigger, right? So now we could place five blocks in a row, okay? Now we want this even to be high and we want this even to be, you know, deep. And now let's go like, oops, I was supposed to show that later. <laughs> and now we have put this thing down here, right? So. Now, um, let's say we want to remove this, then we could like, yeah, how to remove this? Let's, let's just click, right? And it does some weird stuff, like just taking this thing away. This is not what we wanted. So, undo function, you will use these off and redo function, you know, if you undo, did too much. So now we undo once, and now we want to remove this thing, and I suggest we do the remove mode, okay? But we don't want to remove the whole thing because we want to still build something. How about we just remove the thing in it, okay? Now we have such a thing. Ooh, it's dark down here. Well, the game can help, like, lighten stuff up. So you still can see what is what, but you still have, you know, darkish and more light spaces well, um, I suggest um, building in that mode is okay, but you should really check for light levels um, in 
finished build just because if stuff's too dark nobody will see what genius you came up with right okay so now we have this thing and let's say we're really proud about the basin thing and um, well yeah we want more space and we want this to you know we want to copy this and flip this over and create a hollow thing with it so let's see if we can do that let's increase those values again oh, that should fit and um, now let's copy that thing okay so, yeah this does not work so how about so uh, are we just four high we are just four high okay now I'm copying this I'm still in remove mode we should turn that off otherwise bad stuff will happen and now I would like to paste this thing on top well if we paste it right now let's see we paste it like so um, we would have the hollow space like we would have a wall in between I want to turn this thing around okay so here it says it tells you how to do this so basically I could use my keys oh, okay this just turns it around okay that's cool um, so what I want to do is I want to check control and then we go that way and this looks pretty much like what we wanted let's see if the openings below yeah looks good okay now ooh. Uh, shift shifts quick today and but if we put it like that we won't grow it in, enough in the in the height so we need to turn paste mode off add a few blocks turn paste mode on again and if we add it now we should have our empty thing here yep looks good all right let's put that back now you you should save stuff like that pretty frequently um, but you need the resources to build it so it does not make sense for me to load stuff right now because you know um, I just have gray hull and Canon computers on me now the next thing um, it says here NA for this block orientation now let's see what happens if we use a block that utilizes orientation okay the Canon block normally faces forward so forward front is that thing back is that thing meaning you can sit in front of the Canon computer and still shoot at enemies in front of the ship okay so maybe we would like to make a big battle cruiser which has big broadside weapons okay so we need to turn the thing around by the way the co weapon computers and such they determine the direction of a weapon system firing so if we want to fire sideways we have to turn the thing yep like this okay cool now how does this work with symmetry modes because we could like set the other side as well at the same time right okay now I'm setting oops that was not intended I'm setting this and sadly both are firing that way now uh, but um, this button here helps with that problem I'm setting this and you can see that cannon fires over yonder so I won't recommend um, using symmetries when doing systems or logic or stuff like that because it most likely won't work out but it's good to know that such stuff is there okay good you can load you can save you can set these next thing would be the build helper what's the build helper 
Well, the build helper is it shows you how to where to put blocks to achieve a certain thing. Like we want a, a circle with a ten sphere radius around this block. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> if I put blocks now here, then it will make a circle. Okay, what were the other values I could set there? Let's do that again. Let's pick circle. Okay, let's increase to 10 again or something. Now, this is the X rotation. This is the epsilon rotation. X meaning around the X axis. So if I increase these values, the, um, the circle will like pitch to the front or come up at the back. You know, let's uh, add some like 45 degrees so you can see 42 that's okay too and now I put that thing here and you can see yeah it just you know flipped a little to the front it's now going to fall over soon -ish. okay next thing same goes for the epsilon rotation it's basically just turning it around the central axis now the tonus is something really really cool basically it's a donut maker so we have a 26 and then we go like like that and then we go like bam and whoops a big donut okay looks so great love it all right and the last thing is the one thing you might need most often um, so basically just imagine you would draw tons of circles until they basically shape a sphere or another ellipsoid. So if you put all the radii of those circles to the same value, you will get a sphere. Blup. Sphere. Okay. Putting one of the values off. For example, having this like 26 and this like 26, and then here going like 52, bam, you will get something like this. Basically, those white thingies will just tell you where to put blocks. There is nothing yet, it's just a guide, okay? Okay, so let's say we want to add a little color to a kind of boring build like this one, okay? So what we could do is, you know, do it like that, move it all to the max and then say pick remove replace filter. Okay, so now it first wants to know what we want to replace. And I go like gray. Hull, wedge, and I want to replace that with my active slot. Okay, so you see, um, I have the black hull wedge selected. Now I'm going like this, and then I go remove mode, and then I want like, can we? Maybe I should have a little, little smaller here. How about something like that? Just I just want a black nose, so to speak. Okay, yeah, like that. Plan. So it will only select those items that I said I want to exchange. And then I told it to place the items in my inventory instead. So, yeah, it just did that. Now we have this black match here. Awesome. This computer is hooked up to some modules, okay? Let's say we have deleted, well, that's not the best example because they're in a checker pattern here. 
um, let's say the other blocks from the other computer would be something different just imagine okay so let's say for some reason we have deleted this computer dang okay so now we want to place that again and we want to reassign the salvage modules at the bottom of the ship to it how to do that because we don't want to you know have to check every group down there so basically what we are doing we're putting the, down the computer and it's selected we're heading down and then we are just going select this we pick the pick remove filter and say salvage module okay and then we select salvage modules which we have in our inventory then we go remove mode and just go blam and you see those I deleted I replaced with those I had in my inventory and because the salvage computer is selected right now it will make the new ones placed part of its group, its weapon, okay? So this is really, really helpful if you want to repair ships and you know there are always these huge chunks of weapon blocks in there but for some reason you have no clue like okay, so how to connect them to my weapon computer and such. Okay, so let's clear this first because otherwise we can't do stuff and uh, yeah that's it for this tutorial next time we are going to check out um, weapon systems thanks for watching please leave a like if you liked it and see you next time bye guys